Hi Aquarius, I hope you're well. Welcome to your reading, which is going to be about what we can get, themes, keywords to help you navigate from now until the end of 2023. Please do check your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign of these readings so you get a complete and accurate picture. And also you might want to save and revisit it because obviously it's the, the themes and guidance until the end of the year. Something you listen to now, you might subconsciously take on board and then as you come back, you're like, oh, I did implement what um, our reading did say. And you might decide to watch your other signs, like I said, which might resonate with you now or later as well. So do check that out. This is general, it's holistic. If you want a personalized in-depth reading, then you can contact me, whether it's a one tarot card, yes or no question, up to a year or whatever area you want in your life. If you wanted some spiritual coaching, natal chart reading, life purpose coaching, um, energy healing sessions of three different types I do, manifestation, light work, cord cutting, whatever it is. Um, my services, some of my services are listed on the community page. They are on my website, but you can email me also, which is in the description box below. So having said that, Aquarius, did I call you Aries? I don't think I did, did I? Having said that, Aquarius, let's kick into your reading. Messages for Aquarius, please. Do check your April reading out because I feel there's some messages in that are significant for you. Five of Wands, which tells me that, you know, any conflict, what you need to do is step away from any conflict um, that holds you back. But also, there's going to be a mending of family dynamic, okay? So some of you might have had this, mending of family relationships coming in is a key word and theme for some of you if you felt that. I also feel with the Hierophant and the Six of Cups, this could mean that a daily practice is going to benefit you. Um, with this, I would also say, going back to your family dynamics, there might be a bit of nostalgia that keeps you, is getting you down, okay, until the mended family relationships comes in, but there is amendment with the family relationships. This Six of Cups could mean that, you know, you the nostalgic, this conflict, which then you look back on, causes you, obviously, it's not always going to be happy memories, but the dynamic around the family is mending. I think, I think that's really important for you. Now, going on to daily practices, the Emperor is here. Daily practice is, it's funny, I said, did I call you Aries? And the Emperor comes out Aries. I don't even think I called you Aries. So with the Emperor, it's really about taking charge of your life. It's really about stepping up to it. I think there's a, an, an element of expansion here. An element of daily practice leads to having the success. It has to be daily just so that you get into the habit of it. And this way it becomes the norm for you. Um, so some of you that feel a bit lost, if you put in a daily practice, it has to be the norm that will help you then operate from where you want need to be uh, to achieve what you want to achieve. So it means no fear and you cannot allow fear be in your higher vibration of what you're trying to do. You're closing out a cycle as I say that. And I think the fear also leads on from, from this and the five of wands. And you're closing this out. Now, with the Emperor as well, an Aries could be significant because I said about an Aries. Um, but you can't have your mind with this filled with thoughts, ideas of past conversations, past conflicts, issues that are getting to you and expect to bra have the brand new experience and navigate through the year and life in a higher vibration. Now, if those conflicts and areas where I do say there is amendment with your family, 
If that is getting you down, maybe reach out and try to mend it or close this cycle in a way where you're not closing. I don't mean close it without healing. It's important for you to heal. All right. And I think with the cards on the deck and we've got the Knight of Cups as well coming in. Energy is important to you this year. This year is where you realize it means to have potential is to use the potential you have. Okay. And I think there's, with the Knight of Cups, I'll, I'll dive into it, but Six of Cups and Knight of Cups for me says there's possibly a soulmate connection coming in, or you're just meeting a soulmate, all right, and it's going to be a, a, a person you're dating, whatever, it's going to be a soulmate connection. If not, others of you, there's a soulmate connection coming in. I think some of you with the Wheel of Fortune, the closing out of the cycles, is mending relationships but I wonder if this means some of you are closing out a cycle in a particular country in a particular environment and you're traveling to a new environment new neighborhood opening a new ex um, expansion I wanted to say interesting opening a new cycle in your life so let's get you more cards I think with the Wheel of Fortune as well and the King of Cups comes through, there's definitely love, isn't there? There's definitely love. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune here, I also think with the Emperor and the, you know, the, uh, the Knight of Cups and the, the King of Cups and the Emperor and the Wheel of Fortune and then considering that we have the Hierophant as well. There's important lessons here that you are taking from uh, what you've experienced on your journey so far. So be open to learning. The Hierophant really indicates that, being open to learning. You know, I'm not sure if this came up in your uh, April reading as well. And see things from a different perspective because what's been hidden is coming to light, light and there's a power of truth here that's coming forward. Um, and when you do see this, you, you realise you could you're going to, you know, there's important lessons that are going to take you from here to there, okay? Where where you want to go, all right? And four of swords has come out, and I wanted to just touch base on your stabil on your finance, which the four of swords is telling me is fairly stable, all right? You're, it, it's, it, it's stable, you're not in hardship, you're fine. But I want to see if we get anything of, ex, you know, expansion has come through for me. And look, abundance. There is expansion, okay? So there is expansion. Um, so you're operating from a different angle with your finances, a different sort of vibration. Um, and you're going to feel this abundance and expansion come in. You have to be willing to let go of the plans and many millions of thoughts that you have about money, as some of you have, and that's where the Four of Swords is coming in. You know, there is expansion, but let go of any thoughts that are not serving you. The Queen of Wands is here. So we've had the King of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Knight of Cups. Um, very strong energy here, and you definitely have um, love coming in. With the Queen of Wands, okay, and the Six of Cups and the Four of Swords, what I'm feeling with your for your health overall and the Moon, very much telling me this is about really um, wisdom and aligning within your inner wisdom, okay? It's really about understanding when to take action and when to listen to your gut. You're probably asking, why is the Queen of Cups... A, ones in between the six of cups the four of swords and the moon it's because there's an element of trusting your instinct here so wisdom is the key word for your health and it's all about wisdom aligning with your inner wisdom i don't know if some of you navigate not to necessarily meditate and are more on the 3d external if so maybe this is where your inner wisdom is going to balance your health out there is definitely that with the four of swords um, I do feel a soulmate connection coming in or stronger uh, or there is a bond with a soulmate. Um, there is financial budgeting probably with the four of swords that you're looking at. Like I said, there's, um, uh, there could be travel, closing out a cycle somewhere and going somewhere else. 
Now, what I'm getting with this is that you actually have some great creative ideas, but there is a bit of belief systems that sometimes you might hold back on. I'm not getting any sword energy, which is very interesting, because what I would normally say is that you might overanalyze, which then causes you fear to go forward. But what I'm actually getting here is that, um, and it could be the case the sword doesn't come out, but that's what I'm channeling, is that you, um, you, you have the great ideas, but maybe it's your belief systems that hold you back, all right? And with your relationships, and whether it's a soulmate coming in, I think there's a key word of oneness here. You're learning to you're learning the valuable lessons that push you uh, to become more self-aware, so you can understand the power of oneness, the power of a love of a soulmate connection, and something that's not superficial like the Seven of Cups, something that's tangible. I feel that's why the Seven of Cups came out to really expand on that. So that's, that's really interesting. I'm going to pull you a couple of more cards, see what messages we get through Aquarius. Aquarius for the year. There's a message I'm getting through. I want to see if a card comes through. Yeah, Angel of Balance. I was thinking, what is your thoughts around your health? Is it a balanced approach? And the angel of balance comes out, all right? Because I was looking at the Hierophant, which was staring me in the face about your your um, your um, belief system. And I wondered what your belief system around your health would be. That's what was bringing me. So you need to make sure you're in balance, you know, when you're looking at your health, when you're feeling tired, when you're not tired with the angel of balance and the four of swords. And also being wise in knowing that, you know, feeling into your body, blossoming abundance. So breakthroughs are here, which is beautiful for you. And look, you've got the crown chakra with the moon card is really telling me about wisdom. We said about wisdom and trusting in that, you know, bringing that into balance as well. Listening, I said to you, I'm not sure if you meditate or not, or if you're just about the physical world. So it's really about, um, you know, listening to your inner inner wisdom, your balance of your, chakra, your crown chakra as well. Trusting a little bit about, you know, if you meditate and get some ideas like the page of wands, trusting in that. What can I do to make a difference? Interesting. So this is saying, make a difference in someone's life today, big or small, because it all makes a difference. So I would say, you know, with this, because we've got Pluto in Aquarius, which is about giving, it's about our community, it's about the people around us. And I think that's the big energy with this card. Um, so what keeps you up at night, Aquarius? Is there anything that keeps you up at night? What makes you cringe uh, when you think about it? Where can you create purpose out of any pain that you have? I think about that. That's just come through with the, what can I do to make a difference? Let's pull you a spirit animal card. Number three is significant for you. Lion, higher calling. So you have within you all the courage you need. Let go of the past. Reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment within, with those by your side. Make noble choices for your life and your tribe. Very interesting that it says, what can I do to make a difference? Make a difference in someone's life today, big or small, because it all makes a difference. And here it says, make noble choices for your life and your tribe. So it's very much big Pluto in Aquarius energy. All right. And that's your energy, Aquarius's. So that's beautiful, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed your reading. 
If you did, please do like and subscribe to the channel to help support the channel. And do check your other readings out that are very significant. There's some pick a card readings as well. Like there's uh, what is your soul trying to tell you? There's what's next in love? Who's crushing on you? There's a couple of out there as well. But um, the reason I mentioned it was about what's your soul trying to tell you? Yeah. Um, and a new soulmate is coming in for you. You might want to check what's next in love. But do check your individual readings, the elemental readings and the readings that come out every couple of days. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now.